G'day, I'm Rob from the Global Society and in this short video, we're gonna be looking at some of the recent updates that LinkedIn has made to its profile so that you can actually optimize your profile to make it a lot more personal, a lot more engaging for people that are looking for you on LinkedIn. Now, as you know, recruiters, people um, who are gonna be hiring you when you work out of uni, are basically gonna be looking at your LinkedIn profile. And what's super powerful about LinkedIn is that th this is your chance basically to design how people perceive you. So creating a really powerful LinkedIn profile is incredibly important and it actually allows you to um, really convey a sense of who you are as a person, your interests, um, what your goals are, what you're looking for, um, and some of these new features that I'm going to show you today uh, definitely help you to do that a little bit better. So let's jump right into a LinkedIn profile and just for convenience, I'm going to use my own LinkedIn profile, um, which I haven't worked on in a little while, so now's a, a very good chance to come and revisit it. So um, when you first log into LinkedIn, um, of course, assuming you've got a profile set up and there's other resources out there to help you um, set up a, a LinkedIn profile from scratch. So here I am uh, on my news feed. You can see there's sort of news from my industry and from around my network. And what I'm gonna do is actually jump straight in to my profile so I can start editing it. So I just literally click on my name. Now there have been a couple of changes um, to the profile which is what I'd like to show you today and explain why these are actually important. First and foremost, here you can see the um, profile photo over on the left hand side of your profile. Now this has moved. Um, previously your profile photo basically sat like bang in the middle of uh, your banner photo. Um, and now they've moved over to the left which actually gives you a little bit more real estate to work with and you can be very clever in the way that you use that um, real estate to talk more about you and what you're interested in. Um, the second thing that has changed is this uh, headline description right here has actually, um, oh sorry not here, it's up, up here just underneath where it has my name. They've actually increased the number of characters that you can use inside this headline. So instead of um, just having like my name and position, they've actually increased the number of characters to 300 characters, which actually gives you a little bit more to work with in terms of describing some of the key things about you that somebody needs to know when they're landing on this profile and they wanna know about you in like 10 seconds, what are you gonna tell them? Really important. Also, which is uh, new to the profile, is down the bottom here, as you can see, there's actually um, this thing which is called media. Um, and here I've, I've inserted a couple for now. I'm gonna show exactly how to do that, this. This is new. This is actually gives you the ability to pull bits of media that might relate um, to you. So if you've um, been in the local newspaper, had an article written, you can upload that there. Um, if you've produced videos or other content, um, or you have websites or other things that mention you, other interests, you can actually drop them in, in here. Um, let's dive in and have a look at how these different things work. Okay, so let's jump in. So first thing I have to do is hit this little edit button on the top right hand side of my profile and now I'm in edit mode. So the first thing I'm gonna show you um, is this banner photo and in fact a lot of people in LinkedIn on their profiles don't actually upload a, um, one of these banner images. And this is actually an incredibly powerful way for you to give a visual representation of what you're interested in. So choose an image that counts for you depending on what your interests are. You know, people are visual, they hit something like this, they get an immediate impression about who and what you are. If you put a photo of puppy dogs, people are gonna think that you like puppy dogs. Um, if you put uh, a, a, an image from like a video game, people are gonna think that you like video games. So put something in your banner photo that represents you. I'm gonna hit edit here, um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is click change photo. And I've gone away and I've actually created a, uh, a, uh, a photo that I want to actually use today. And here we go. So um, what they've done is they've actually improved their, um, their uh, uploader here, the, um, the actual image uploader, so that you can actually like move your photo uh, around. And you can see I've actually just included a call to action on my banner photo. And that's what that increased real estate allows you to do. It allows you to actually write text or put other things on top of your photo that might actually stir people to take action. So in this case, I've just very simply said, follow Rob on Instagram, at a life that travels. There we go. Um, I'm gonna hit apply. I haven't practiced this by the way, and I have a feeling 
that when this loads, it's gonna look like I'm getting sucked into a jet engine, which is kind of funny. <laughs> We're gonna leave it for now. That's not the point, there we go. There am I getting sucked into a jet engine. Um, but the funny thing about this is that at least you can see that this is an aeroplane flying over an airport. Um, what does that sort of convey? Well, it conveys that I'm someone who's interested in travel. Um, that's the immediate impression that you might get. And I've got a call to action there. Follow me on Instagram, fantastic. So make sure you upload a banner image, make sure it's something that's relevant to who you are as a person um, and your interests and your passions. Okay, next let's have a look at the headline. So the headline is that section where I said um, they've increased the number of characters that are available to you. And this is your chance to say something concrete about who you are, what your interests are and what potentially you're looking for. So this is like one of the, my titles, director and founder of the Global Society, that's nice, but you'll find that elsewhere in my profile. So what I've actually done is written up a, a very brief little um, blurb that I'm just gonna paste in here, which basically says, you know, what's my job? Well, I'm CEO of AIM Overseas in the Global Society, um, entrepreneur, traveler, vlogger, honest about, hashtag life, hashtag fire, hashtag comfort zones. So these are sort of telling you not only like what I do for my work, but some of the things that I'm interested in, some of the things that I'm personally work, working towards. That's really nice because somebody who lands on my profile, looks at this for like under 10 seconds, will instantly get an impression that I'm somebody who's interested in travel, that um, I'm running businesses and I'm interested in vlogging. There you go. Um, and a couple of the things that I'm really passionate about, all of that inside just a couple of seconds. So that's why um, increasing the headline is really, really useful. Now down here, let's look at the media uploader. This is one of the really funky features that I think is absolutely fantastic. Firstly, you can upload things like documents. Um, you can upload video files and other things like that. Uh, here you go. But what I would highly recommend is basically just creating links. So if you've created, for example, like a, a short introduction to yourself, a profile video um, that you wanna share on your LinkedIn profile, you can do that now just by clicking the button that says link. Um, here uh, in our YouTube channel, I've actually just pulled up a video where I'm interviewing somebody, um, uh, this is Jana Wong from the University of Southern California in uh, the USA, and she's talking about how to prepare for an interview or for presentations. So what I'm gonna do is quite simply grab this video URL, drop that into this little line here, and I'm gonna hit add. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna run away, it's gonna retrieve that thumbnail from, um, from YouTube, and it's going to create a link to this media item on, so on my profile, so how to prepare for an interview or presentation. A um, little bit of background, and I click apply. Um, and you can see when that loads, this hasn't quite displayed the way that I want. So how to prepare for an interview, I'm actually just going to tidy that up and delete the or presentation because obviously not all of that text gets pulled across onto the thumbnail on my profile. So now I have these pieces of media. Obviously there's something about AIM Overseas, which is one of the companies that I help to run. Um, and then you've got two other pieces of content that I've put up there that might relate to my interests of things that I'm working on. So how to ace any kind of presentation. Here I'm interviewing Luria Petrucci, who's um, one of the world's leading um, vloggers and particularly around the gaming space and she's been huge in the U US for a long time um, and then another one and she's talking about presentation skills and then another one here about how to prepare for an interview so from that somebody looking at my profile might gain that I've got an interest in developing careers of, um, of young people um, and that I've got good content that I'm producing so straight away people can start to form an impression of me. Hit save and those things are going to load and, and you're going to see that this Makes, makes a bit of a difference. Uh, unfortunately, that banner image doesn't look that great. That's fine, I can keep working on that until it works and looks the way that I want it to. But look here at what those media um, clips start to look like. You actually end up with these, um, these thumbnails underneath. You can include six of them. Um, so make sure you use all of them. And this is where it's really important. If you're um, currently in a job looking to change, uh, if you're looking for your first job, everybody will look at your LinkedIn profile, I'll guarantee you. Um, the first thing they'll do when they decide that they wanna offer you an interview is come and look at you. So make sure you're designing a LinkedIn profile the way that you want people to perceive you. So that might require that if you're actually applying for a very specific job and you really want that job, you really want to work for that one particular organization that you just love what they do, design your LinkedIn profile 
with them in mind. What are they looking for? What are the things that they want? Um, or they might think makes you a more attractive kind of candidate and add them to your banner, add them to your media things. Actually post some of their articles and some of their content, um, you know, link that up in your media section and they'll instantly think that you are a very attractive candidate because you're actually cross posting their content. That's really important. Anyway, some really exciting um, new updates to LinkedIn. I hope that's helpful for you. And of course, Global Society has got plenty of resources to help you with your overseas studies and travel and helping you prepare for a career because international study is a life-changing experience. And um, making sure that you include that stuff in your resume is also gonna help you get a job down the track. So have a great day. Hope that's been of help. See you later.